So I had an idea yesterday and I want to show you this quickly here. Maybe it's interesting for you. So I want to just here generate some kind of synthesizer and I want to lay down some notes, just a basic chord, something like this. It's just, just a chord with the sound inside of the polymer synthesizer. So instead of changing here these values and creating some kind of preset, I want to generate presets. So maybe just delete this here for a moment. So I want to generate presets and I did something like this with my Rando Rambo preset for the PulliSynth a few years ago. Uh, but it has, it has some drawbacks because you can't save actually the preset with it. So you can generate presets, but then you can't save it because you can't persist the data that you generate within the grid. So I had this idea yesterday. It's nothing special, but it's, it's fun to use. So we use a node grid here in front of the poly, polymer synthesizer. And by the way, you don't need to use a Bitwig synthesizer. You can also use VSTs and you can use audio effects or MIDI effects or note effects also. So it's not only, you know, it's not bound to uh, Bitwig synthesizers. So uh, we have Polymer here, we have a node grid. We switch the node grid here actually to node through. So we uh, pass the nodes through the node grid. Inside here, we just delete everything. And what we want to use here is a CC out device to send out controller data. And we also need a value knob here to actually change the values of the CC uh, uh, channel. So we call this here maybe just data connect these two and we want to go to channel 16 here. Um, you can also use a different channel, uh, but for me, this is kind of a special uh, thing here. I want to implement in front of a synthesizer. So 16 is maybe uh, to get out of the way of any other controller data uh, that you may use with your MIDI controllers and so on. So I ju just use your uh, con channel 16 for that. Um, then on the node grid itself, I want to use, of course, voice stacking. So we have multiple voices now and we use a stack spread controller here from zero to one. And now we modulate here the CC controller number to up to 16, of course. So now each voice has a different CC number. So voice one has CC one, voice two has CC two, voice three has CC three and so on. Um, then we want to implement here a step modulator, of course. So it's the same idea like I did on my uh, recent videos. We have 16 steps here. We switch this to per voice mode and we switch this here to hold rate and we modulate here the face modulation uh, with the stack spread modulator by exactly 100%. So I type this in here, one. So this is now CC1, the value of CC1, the value of CC2, the value of CC3, okay? And this is really great because we can now here generate random CC values on each of these CC um, channels. Um, now we can go to the Polymer here and implement a MIDI device or MIDI modulator, that's the name of it. We go here to channel 16, of course, and we have CC1 here. Uh, with CC1, we want to maybe change here the index of the wavetable. Maybe we switch the wavetable here to something different, something like this. Then we duplicate this. Uh, we go to CC2. Uh, with CC2, I want to change maybe here the phase modulation. Um, then I duplicate this, CC3 is, let's say the sub, we want to mix in here the sub oscillator, uh, CC4 changes the shape of the sub oscillator, CC5 um, changes, let's say, um, what else do we have? Maybe the frequency here of the filter. Maybe bring this down here to, let's say, C2. C1, so like this, let's go to C2. So we open up here the filter with that. Uh, we maybe also want to change with CC6 um, here the modulation amount of the filter envelope. Um, then we duplicate this CC7 changes the decay settings. Uh, maybe also here. So something like this, so we can 
change a lot of uh, things with these CC devices here, our CC modulators. And now we can go here to our initial node grid and can change this uh, randomly. We actually have to uh, see here, uh, CC, the sends out. Um, oh yeah, we have to modulate here the value knob, of course. So each press of this dice button here changes basically the sound um, of the polymer in exactly that range that you defined. So maybe sometimes you want to have more drastic changes from preset to preset. And sometimes you want to just have slight changes. So we just want to, you know, alternate the sound to a slightly different um, uh, setting. So you can do this with that here. Just hit the dice button and generate a new preset or new sound. And this can become interesting within just one song where you just need um, a different version of the same sound. Um, it's also interesting because this step modulator is actually the only device or the only thing inside of Bitwig Studio where you can generate random sounds or random values and you can persist it with the project and you can also save it and persist it with the preset. So if I, if you like something you just generated in here, you can just hit here, save and save it as a project. And when you recall it, it sounds exactly the same because all these values are persistent and they are sent out here to CC. And then these uh, MIDI modulators grab these values and then they modulate a specific um, knob inside of your synthesizer. Like I said, this not only works with the Polymer synthesizer, it works with all synthesizers, also with VSTs and also audio FX and so on. So you could go in here and say, I want to have here maybe a reverb, right? And then you can define, um, let's say, put this out here. You can define with CC devices, um, the mix, maybe the reverb time, right? Let's go to 50%. You can also attach these uh, things here to a reverb itself if you want to. And you can also use multiple channels if you want to. Um, that's CC8. Let's go here to CC9. This one changes the reverb time. Something like this. It's just an example. Um, so now we can generate this here. And we have different settings. You can see we have no reverb here at all. If you don't like to hit here the dice button, you can also draw it in if you want to. Sadly, you can't modulate these bars here. It's only possible with the Parsec 8. With the Parsec 8, you are stuck with eight possible values, not 16. That's the drawback. Okay, so also this approach is highly modular. So you can say, um, I did this one here and maybe I call this, let's say a generator. Um, that's the wrong name, generator. And then you can just drop this on a second channel and maybe use your different synthesizer, a different preset and alterate this preset in minor ways. But that's not what I want to show you. Um, you can also say, I have your one uh, step modulator and I call this maybe preset one. Okay, so this is my first preset. So I can just duplicate this and say, this is preset two. Um, this is preset three. This is preset four. So each preset gets a different bunch of values here with the dice button. Right, so everything is kind of a slightly different setting. And then use here a vector four, maybe. You can also use a vector eight, so you can use um, eight presets if you want to. And then you go here to the setting. This is just the amount, how much you modulate basically at this knob. 
you can say this is preset one, so I modulate here this by 100%. Uh, preset two, also zero, and I modulate this by 100%. Uh, preset three, zero, and modulate this, sorry, by 100%. And preset four, zero. So now you have like a mixture here because the dot is in the middle. You have a mixture of all presets in the middle. So you also generate some kind of new preset here mixed of all of these uh, presets. Sounds like this. Or maybe you use here a repeater so we can hear the... Oh, actually, we need to modulate here also with these. Let's say this one modulates this, preset two modulates this, preset three modulates this, and also this one modulates the data. So now it should work. And if you don't like one of these edges here, let's say this one or this one, you just go to here and generate a new one. So you can quickly um, create different sounds and then fade or morph between them and change values, okay? Um, and you don't need to build this every time. You save this here as a generator preset and you bring in all these different preset settings here or uh, step modulators, maybe at, uh, at eight of them. And um, yeah, then save this. And every time you need something that you want to randomly generate, uh, you can just recall this preset and then um, add some uh, MIDI modulators here to your device of your liking and then change these sounds. Um, so I want to show you this here also on a different preset. Let's say we have here, have here some kind of kick drum preset I made. Um, so cr cr we create just some kick drums with that. Let's go in there. Go to 1.5 here and use a quantizer. Sounds probably better. Okay, so in here the kick drum maybe also needs some slight changes. Always sounds the same. So we can just take this here and clone this on the second channel. And here we can now also use the MIDI CC modulators. We can also copy this here over. So I just select everything, drag this to the second track here and just add this to the kick drum. So here now, um, let's move here to the first one. We have a lot of values. Um, CC1 maybe changes here the P mod. Uh, CC2 changes this one. Um, CC4, let's say, changes maybe default. This changes the length of the kick drum here, so we go with CC5. Maybe P3. So we have basically four different kick drums now we can uh, fade between. Uh, so we can maybe create some different sounds, like let's say eight different sounds, right? Or eight different presets for the sound. And um, yeah, you can then within one set of live set, you can uh, fade between eight different sounds here fluidly on each of these channels, right? You have a different 
different uh, chords sound here. Which is kind of interesting. Maybe it's not super useful for you, but I think it's a great idea of creating sounds on the fly and then fading between them. There are all kinds of different things you can do. You don't need to use Vector 4 here. You can also use a sequencer and then say every 16 bars, I want to switch to a different pattern setting here and then change the kick drum automatically every 16 bars or every uh, 32 bars or something like that. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do. And I also made here some kind of deep, um, deep dub house thing here. It sounds like this. And this uses basically exactly this idea. You can see here the chord is basically generated here in different patterns or different sounds. The drone sound here slightly changes from each pattern. The hi-hat is generated, it also changes. i quickly show you this here, how it sounds. So this is... So all kinds of different hi-hat sounds. We also have here different clap sounds or different snare sounds. So right, it's basically just the same synthesizer generating a snare, but the, the settings are different, slightly different. And you can see this here, the snare is generated basically just by using noise and a bit of filtering. And inside here of this note grid, I'm using CC ins to modulate different settings here on this small patch. And then each of these um, step mods basically change these settings and then I can fluidly switch between them. So I have different sounds with just one synthesizer or with, with one synthesizer setup, and then I can switch between them. Um, so it kind of generates here a lot of different um, house loops. Sounds like this. I did you all the same, uh, the same thing on the kick drum, right? So I have different kick drums just with one kick drum patch. So it's slightly different. It's not that, you know, not that drastic. But usually I don't want to change everything completely uh, drastically in all kinds of different ways. I just want to have slight changes in the sound. Um, so this is my idea for um, generating presets on the fly, fading between these presets. And you can also, if you are happy with your result, you can save it and persist it with the project or with the preset. And like I said, you can also uh, just save here some kind of preset for the generator and then just load it in whenever you want to use this kind of technique. And all you need to do is basically attach here some MIDI modulators and then modulate the stuff you want to change and also in what range. So this is my idea for this. Um, I hope you like it. Maybe you find it useful. Leave me a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video. Bye.